In this video, we'll be looking at the semi-automatic edger. Before you can place the lenses onto the edger, you must measure the frame. You should use the boxing frame measurement system to do this. Then you need to make a template. You can do this by hand, or, more commonly, use the template cutter machine. Measure your template to make sure it's accurate. Then calculate the correct amount of decentration and its direction required for each lens. Take the lenses that have been marked to show their nasal markings and decenter the lenses on the blocker. The optical centers of the lenses should be physically moved from the geometric center of the protractor to coincide with the client's pupil position. This is called decentration. Once the lens has been decentered to the correct position, a plastic chuck or lens holder is then attached via a leap pad to each lens. This will allow the lens to be held in place on the edger during the edging process. This step is known as blocking. Once this has been done, place the lens onto the edger. The template must be placed onto its holder so that its nasal side coincides with the nasal edge of the lens. Cut the lens down to the correct size and shape to fit into the frame. We always process the right lens followed by the left lens, so what's done for one lens will be done for the other. Cut the lenses down to size on the cutting wheel, which deals quickly with the excess material. Remove the lens from the edger. The lens then moves to the V-wheel where the bevel is formed. Chamfer it by hand. Then check the size of the lens in the frame by using pull-up pliers to gently bring the rim locks together. If the lens is still a little large, it can be recut or trimmed down on the edger by altering the size. These steps are then repeated for the left lens.